so the first book that I wanted to recommend to you guys is any book by Rick Riordan but specifically the Percy Jackson slash Heroes of Olympus series it is mm, that's a 10 so good hydration game take a sip of water every time i say so good or amazing okay i cannot recommend this book and the series enough it's, it's just so good everything about the books is just amazing highly recommend the next book that i recommend to you guys is american royals and it's actually a series because the sequel to the first book just came out and i'm about to read it and i will let you guys know if i like it but american royals is so good basically like telling you guys about it without giving much away is it's like if america had royalty like england does like you know how england has like the king and queen and princes and princesses like if america had that and has a good like mesh between fantasy and rom-com and a little bit of drama a little bit of drama which i like it i really enjoyed reading it so the next book that i have for you guys is the hunger games series so i have personally not finished reading all of the books but they are really really good and the movies are even better okay i they're probably one of the only movies in which the books are accurately represented in the movies the percy jackson movies needed to take notes from hunger games because it was so good they've captured a lot of the elements that are in the books so far that i've read and i will continue to read them and i'll update you guys but so far based on like authors and readers alike everybody seems to be at a general consensus that the hunger games movies are amazing and since they're so good i'm assuming that they match up with the rest of the books i just need to finish reading the series the next recommendation that I have is Pride and Prejudice. So if you have not read this book, this is like the one classic book that I have on my list and it is the one book that I recommend to anyone. It is the classic enemies to lovers trope. So if you love the enemies to lovers trope in like books or movies or shows, you will love Pride and Prejudice. The movie is really really good. It's actually decently accurate to the book like it actually like shows because like the first part of the Pride and Prejudice movie is like really really boring and there's like nothing happening because that's that's literally how the book is the first part of Pride and Prejudice is like just the backstory and like setting up the story and then most of the action happens towards the middle and the end of the book and the movie so I think it does a really good job I recommend reading the book first then watching the movie then reading the book again and then watching the movie again it just I don't know why but you you need to do it in that order okay just no no questions asked okay <laughs> <laughs> next question <laughs> See ya. so the next book that i recommend for you guys is becoming by michelle obama so this is the one biography that i have on this list and i recommend it to anyone who's so good i it was it's one of the only biographies that i've read that i'm not immediately bored by which is amazing because a lot of the times biographies can get very not repetitive but just uninteresting like i don't care don't care still don't care but <laughs> with becoming with michelle obama i was really enthralled into her story and really wanted to read the whole book and finish it and not just read like the parts that i needed or the parts that i wanted to to go to the book for it's really good it's really motivational really inspirational but it's still like a nice chill casual read which is why i included it in this book recommendation the next book or this is a more of a series but it is the selection series by kira katz so there are six books and i have read five of them and it's pretty good it's pretty good i definitely think that the first like three books are the best the first one is the best of the best the second one is best of the eh. and then the third one is like it's just good but that is the first three like you ha you have to read the first three at the least but anything else after that like i don't remember anything that i'd be like you have to read the whole series but anyways next recommendation crazy rich asians and the rest of the series so this is it's not necessarily a series but there's multiple books surrounding the same plot Is that not the definition of a series? But anyways, the next recommendation that I have is One of Us is Lying. This is the only like mystery, thriller, suspense book that I have on it. And it is highly recommended. I 
don't read and haven't really read much mystery suspense thriller books because to be honest it's not really my thing like I don't like being having anxiety okay I don't like putting myself into situations that I don't need to put myself into so I haven't read a, a bunch of mystery thriller suspense type things but this book was so good okay it was so good I wasn't it was like keeping you to the edge of your seat just enough for you to want to read more, but not enough for you to internally panic and have nightmares. So that's why I think it is amazing and I highly recommend it to anyone who is like just into reading or just anyone who wants a cool book to read. It was really, really good. I think I finished it in like a day. So I highly recommend, yeah. The next book that I have is A Throne for Sisters. This is ugh, chef's kiss. If you love books that are set in like, past times like I do I love books that are set in like um Regency Victoria era I don't know I'm just obsessed with it okay <laughs> and this book is amazing it's following a pair of sisters through their journey in royalty and stuff like that and it's just it's amazing it's not like super boring like some Regency Victoria era books can get because it can get repetitive like if you don't make something new out of the like time period it can get repetitive so i really do love this book and highly recommend it to anyone the next book series that i have to recommend to you guys is leela howland's silver sisters so this book is probably one of like my favorite comfort books you know how you have comfort shows and comfort movies this is my comfort book it is so good i am obsessed with it it's just amazing but anyways i think it does an amazing job of combining all of those different aspects that really make a book a good book okay <laughs> so the last book recommendation that i have is the hate you give so this book is amazing top notch just it's good as a casual read it's good as an informative read it's an amazing book if you haven't read it already you need to go do that okay you need to and it is just so good okay i cannot recommend it enough if you're gonna read any book out of this video read the hate you give okay it is amazing it's like it's an amazing book highly recommend so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you leave a like and comment and subscribe down below. We are on a road to 200 subscribers and I would love if you joined my little family, my little group, my little clique. So <laughs> yeah, um, I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Bye!